Wednesday the 29th, and that means this week is Blanding's Bowl. So if you watched the vlog last year, uh, Blanding's Bowl was a week-long event that the veterinary team from University of Illinois came down, and everybody, turtle techs and wildlife techs from Lake County came, and we had a huge turtle trapping competition where almost 170 traps were set out because there were so many people. And we sampled all these turtles and we got everything and there was a first place, second place, third place, and last place winner. But this year, because of COVID-19, things have changed slightly. Um, we realized that we weren't gonna be able to have as big as the landing bowl as we wanted to have because the people from the University of Illinois could not come down here and we had a lot smaller of a team this year doing turtles, but we decided that we were going to do a mini one anyway. So Wednesday, today, all the way until Friday, we're setting out 99 traps. So there are nine of us that all work together here and live together, and we are each setting out 11 traps in two field sites, and we are going to see who can catch the most turtles this week. Kaylee, you wanna talk about the points? Alright, so Sam, you'll have to correct me when I'm wrong, but the basic idea is that we will get points for every blanding that we catch in our trap, because that's the goal. If it's a new blanding or a blanding that hasn't been named before, you get extra points. If it's a blanding that we've already caught in a trap in these three days, then you get a little bit less points. We'll also get points for catching snap um, painted. You do not get points for catching snappers. It's negative points for every snapper you catch. And the bigger the snapper is, the less points you get, or the more negative points you get, if that makes sense. So it's kind of crazy. There's also some long shots out there. If you trap a mammal, which you shouldn't because our traps are in water, that's negative points. But if you somehow get a bird, that's positive points. You shouldn't get either of those. But <laughs> They're on the list. Um, we have already set out four traps at one location and we are driving the appropriate speed limit, but hastening to the next location because you have to get there first to pick your trap spot. So we're going to try and vlog these whole three days for you. It might be a little crazy because as I said last year, a bunch of vets came out, vet students, veterinarians and vet students. And so it was, a lot easier to spread out the sampling. Um, in this case, if we have 99 traps and let's say we get a turtle of 50 traps, Kayla and I are the only two people that can sample the 50 turtles. So, this week might be a little crazy, a little bit, depending on how many turtles we get, but let's hope we win. We have to beat Gary and Timmy. They're the reigning champs. Timmy won last year and Gary won the year before that. I think Kayla's Former Blanding's Bowl champion Gary Glowacki checking in here on day one of Blanding's Bowl 7. Just got done checking my first trap and had four Blanding's turtles in there. And uh, took a commanding 120 point to 60 lead and about to check trap number two. So let's see what we got here. I see stuff moving around. I'm trying to see if I can flip the camera, but no. We're going to go check it. Boom, look at that. Two bullfrogs, but also looks like two blandings, some pretty big ones here. So I'm gonna go find out who they are. 